Legend or reality? What do you think? Today we're diving into mythical creatures to see if they're real or just made up in stories and legends. Do these myths have any basis in reality or are they purely imaginary creations? Let's find out. This noise perplexed scientists for over a decade. For more than 10 years, scientists were puzzled by a strange noise. It was heard by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, in 1997, and confused researchers for a long time. The sound came from a very distant part of the Pacific Ocean near the southern tip of South America. It was picked up by a number of underwater microphones, called hydrophones. Hydrophones work like underwater ears, and NOAA had placed many of them in the ocean to listen for unusual sounds like this one. The first set of these hydrophones was used during the Cold War to detect submarines from the Soviet Union. Normally, scientists use the sounds they record to study earthquakes and marine animals. But the strange noise, called the bloop, was unlike anything they'd heard before. Noah described it as a sound that quickly got higher in pitch over about a minute. It was loud enough to be heard over 3,000 miles away from where it originated. If it started in the middle of the United States, you could hear it up in the top part of Canada, or even as far south as Colombia. That's how big this noise was. The top scientist at NOAA back then, Dr. Christopher Fox, didn't think the bloop came from humans, a volcano, or an earthquake. He thought its sound was more like what a huge living creature might make, one that creates a super loud bloop noise. Even though Dr. Fox thought the bloop might be from a big creature, he said we might never know for sure. That's because the noise was way louder than any animal we know of. Some scientists thought maybe it was ice breaking off in Antarctica, but lots of people, including Dr. Fox, still thought it could be from some kind of creature. This idea stuck around for years, and by 2002, most scientists agreed that it was probably made by an animal. Researchers kept investigating the bloop. When they looked closely at its spectrogram, they found similarities with spectrograms of ice quakes from different places. This made them doubt that the bloop came from an animal. As they studied it more, they realized that a lot of the bloop's changes matched up with what happens during ice breaking. Dr. Yoon Boji, an oceanographer, pointed out that the patterns in how the sound spread could be because of certain ways ice moves. So. The idea that the bloop was from an animal slowly faded away as scientists found more evidence linking it to ice breaking. Simply put, the bloop sound might have been the original noise getting twisted as it moved through ice. By 2012, most scientists stopped thinking it was made by an animal. They figured it was probably just ice breaking off in Antarctica. But not everyone believed that. Some people still think there's more to it, like maybe mermaids or secret nuclear stuff. It's become a big topic in pop culture and conspiracy theories. What or who do you think made the bloop? The Japanese Ningen. If you're swimming in the ocean and you see something big heading your way, don't try to escape because it's already too close. It's called the Japanese Ningen, and it's a creature. Some folks think it's like mermaids or sirens that sing to lure people to their doom. But they're wrong because Ningen are way bigger about 60 feet long. In 2022, some scientists studying whales saw a gigantic creature in the ocean. It had smooth, pale skin like a human, and even had hands with fingers. It popped up near their boat and then went back underwater. But this wasn't the first time it showed up. In 2005, Google Earth spotted a huge thing in the southern ocean near Namibia's coast. Scientists said it was just an iceberg that looked a bit like a sea creature. Then, in 2010, a Japanese team filming underwater caught a strange creature on video. It was big with small eyes and a little smile, lying on the ocean floor. Some said it was just a weird sea snake, but others claimed Ninyen can stand up like humans on land. Some of the video hasn't been shown because the government doesn't want to scare people. Fun fact, Ninjen in Japanese actually means human. 
You're ready to go swimming? You're ready? Do you know the story of the El Gran Maya? If not, I invite you to stay. Deep in the ocean where it's dark and secrets hide, there's a mysterious creature that brings shadows and fear, better known as the El Gran Maya. It's huge and lurks in the depths, challenging what we understand about the wonders of the ocean. Now listen to the sound this beast makes. Imagine diving into the deepest waters and coming face to face with the Great Maya, which is even bigger than the blue. The El Gran Maya is a mysterious creature. People debate where it comes from and where it lives. Some think it hides deep down to stay away from humans. The last sighting was supposedly 32 kilometers from Puerto Rico. People say it's the biggest creature in the whole ocean. It looks a lot like a hammerhead shark, but it's really huge, about 675 meters long. It has rows of eyes and thousands of teeth. Something creepy is that it's said many ships that have sunk recently were because of the Great Maya, and it makes such a loud noise that it can sink ships. It's also thought to be in the same place where the blue is, in the South Atlantic Ocean. We know very little information about the El Gran Maya, but its existence hasn't been ruled out. Could the El Gran Maya be a creature that survived in the depths for centuries? If you think so, let me know in the comments. Is the Kraken real? It's one of those mythical creatures that really grabs people's attention. People have been wondering if it actually existed for a long time. Back in the 2010S near Australia, something washed up on the shore that looked like a tentacle. But later, it turned out to be a dead whale, not a kraken. But in the 1920s, some guys were out fishing in the North Sea on a big boat. They got caught in a storm. When they went out to secure the ship, they saw something huge in the dark that looked like the kraken. They were sure it wasn't just a big squid. Then, 50 years later, in the same spot, other fishermen found something that looked like a tentacle, about 19 feet long. What do you think? Did you ever think about what caused the last megalodon to die? Until recently, hardly anyone knew what happened to it. You might have thought it was because of changes in the weather or because other creatures competed with it. Now we know the truth about what ended the megalodon's reign. Some people guessed that a giant snake called the Titan of Boa might have fought it, but that's not it. For years, scientists have had different ideas about what happened to the megalodon. Now, after two million years, we've finally got some evidence. A marine biologist named Mike Smith was studying the megalodon's disappearance and found out that the biggest megalodon was 86 feet long. When he talked to other marine biologists, they agreed that an even bigger megalodon might have been the one that killed off the rest. What if the megalodon shark was alive today? Well, let's learn about it first. The megalodon lived and died about 0.6 million years ago. It was really big, around 60 feet long and weighed up to 100 tons. If it were still around today, it would be much bigger than any shark we have now. This would make it a big deal in the ocean, eating a lot of other animals and changing how things work. It could even hurt people because it's, it's so big and powerful, but it's very unlikely that the megalodon could survive in today's world. The ocean is different now, and it might not be able to handle those changes. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our cool stuff at Astral Sagas.